Um, right, so more and more of us are coming back. Uh, people are coming back from furlough slowly, are they? Some of them. Um, people are coming back from working at home to physically into retail offices and so on. And employers are facing a massive increase in the requests for flexible working. So anyone can ask for flexible working, but to be entitled to request it is slightly different. So anyone can ask, but to be entitled to request flexible working, you have to be an employee um, who's worked for 26 weeks continuously before the request and hasn't made a similar request within 12 months. So if these people ask and you're an employer, you have to consider it properly. You've got a shopping list of things that you can look at uh, for reasons, refusal reasons, but these are prescribed. And if someone asks you for flexible working, you have to consider it and know it and be able to document it. Because if you get it wrong, you could face a grievance if you haven't carried out the process properly, an appeal meeting, and potentially even the employment tribunal. And any whiff of discrimination in this will be very bad news. So treat people right. Um, one of the reasons might be a burden of the additional costs, the um, inability to service your clients properly, an impact on the quality of the work that you're producing and so on. So if someone is asking you for part-time, flexi-time, compressed hours, staggered hours, job sharing or working from home, that's also flexible working. You've got to have a really good, thorough process that you can document because right now everybody is aware of their rights, more and more so and rightly. So if you try and cut corners and just say no or threaten people with redundancies, um, you are more than likely to be in the employment tribunal. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So it's just not worth risking. And if you've got any questions, please ask us because this bleeds into other kinds of requests like parental leave and time off for dependents, where a lot of us have still got kids at home. Okay, that's it for now.